Today, we're going to have a look at converting your annual targets into monthly targets using the magic of Power Query. So we can see on our sales report, we have our targets by year here. When we drill down to the month level, we can see they don't go across our months. They only show in the January because that's what the date column is. So let's convert them to months. So we're going to click on the transform data button at the top to take us to Power Query. And once in there, we're going to go to our target query. So we can see um, my targets are by store. So we've got my store key here and then a date column. Um, and this date column is just the 1st of January for the year. So 2021 for 40,000 and 2022 for 100,000. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our um, custom column for our months. So we're going to name this month and it's just going to be a simple list squarely bracket one dot dot 12 so january to december press ok and then we're going to expand that out to rows and now we can see for 21 for store one we've got one through to 12 and then for 22 we've got one through to 12 and then we start on store key two Next, we're going to add our new date column and we're going to build that from typing 01, then our month, and then bringing in our year. So to do that, we need to extract our year from this date column. So we're going to go to transform and extract and we're going to pull the last four characters from here because we only want the year. So we can now see that this is our four characters and we're going to name that one, rename it year. And now we'll go ahead and add another custom column and this is going to be our date. So we're going to be combining text. So text.combine, remember your capitals here. And then we're going to open brackets, open curly brackets, and we're going to start with the day because I'm Australian. So 01 slash, so that's our day. And then comma. Now we're going to add in our, our month. So we're going to say text.from and open bracket, square bracket, and this is going to be our month. Okay, close our curly bracket, sorry, close our round bracket, and then comma, and we're going to add our slash in to break out our month and year. Now we're going to do the same thing for our year. Text.from, open bracket, square bracket, year. There we go and then close our bracket and then we want to close our curly bracket and close our circle bracket again so we've got day month and year now press okay Ooh, i've made a mistake oh text combiner it's not going to work so we'll double click that one and take off the r press okay okay and now we've got our date column we're going to change that to a type of date and we're going to get rid of the columns that we don't need so month and year remove columns and then we're going to divide our values by 12 so it's a monthly value instead of an annual value so click on the column and go to transform standard and divide and then divide by 12. so now we can see for each month um, we've got a value. So for 2021, we've got 3,333 and for 2022, we've got 8,333. We're going to go ahead and close and apply. And once that applies, we can see that our target line is then flat and that's because we've got a new date column. So we've got to go fix up that relationship. So we'll come in here and we'll drag our date to our date table. And when we come back, then our target should be working for that annual. And if we drill down to monthly, we can now see the target for each of our months. Thanks for watching. 
If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button.